Hi there, uh, this is uh, Peter Bos talking. Um, well, um, I'm going to talk about um, uh, Open SCAD. Um, it's an open source uh, 3D modeler uh, in which you can program, and it's great. Uh, but it has one drawback. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit, little bit hard to um, see what you are creating. And of course, you can use uh, uh, DXF files and stuff. But there is also a possibility to use a polygon, and uh, here's an example of that. Uh, I really like that idea, but it's quite hard to read um, what you're exactly going to get. So I thought uh, I would, would try something a little bit strange. Um, I would write an um, open SCAD um, generator. So it, uh, it's a small program that uh, actually um, generate some uh, open SCAD code uh, which uh, which in turn would make it a little bit easier to uh, uh, to generate uh, those uh, polygons um, well let me uh, show you um, it's an um, it's an air application and you just uh, you need the um, uh, air runtime for that so you, you can download that from Adobe um, I don't have it signed because I do not have that kind of money. <laughs> um, but trust me, I will not uh, rip your machine apart or anything. Um, you just install it, uh, default, default uh, location will be fine. You can start it up after installation. Uh, I will continue. Well, this is what you get. It's pretty basic application. Uh, what does it do? Well, it helps you to draw the polygons uh, in a visual way. Um, this is your um, zero offset point. Uh, you can move that along by uh, using these little uh, steppers. Um, then you go into add point mode and you see a little, little uh, dot appear and you can start drawing. Uh, this is a very uh, basic program so it doesn't have any undo functionality or something. It was just uh, to prove a point and to see if it actually would work. So it's very basic. Uh, maybe I will make some additions to it, but uh, for now it's just uh, as it is. Uh, well, I have uh, closed this one. Um, I can also add another one. Uh, this one has to be inside the other one. Or outside. If you don't... Uh, if you follow those rules, uh, you will be fine. Um, well, what can you do now? Well, uh, you can save this uh, at the following location, uh, scat and on slash polygon um, What this will do is um, uh, save uh, the model in an uh, open SCAT format uh, in your documents directory. And if you're on a Windows machine, in your my documents directory uh, in the subfolder called SCAT. You can change it, but this, this is the default uh, default setting. Well, I'm saving it now. Um, where does it show up? Well, it shows up here. When I double click on that, it will open open SCAD. Surprise, surprise. Um, oops, <laughs> getting some programs out of the way. Um, let me. Generates. This is a little bit. Well, this is what it uh, generated. So it uh, generated the polygon with the points and the path in it. Uh, well, this is basically it. Uh, when you put it on automatically reload and compile, it will uh, show you the form we just made. So this is actually quite cool. Um, what make, makes it a lot easier to uh, create this uh, kind of stuff. What you can do now is um, uh, clear the whole model, uh, draw new points. Let's go uh, a little bit uh, wilder. Wild, wilder. Uh, oh my god, okay. I don't know what it is, but hey. So, another, another sequence. There we go. And when we save now, and look at the background uh, uh, image. It automatically updates because uh, OpenSCAD sees the files cha file change and actually generates the new uh, polygon. 
So this will make it makes it a little bit easier uh, to uh, generate those polygons uh, in, in a visual way. Um, you can do a little bit more with the small program I made. Um, for instance, if you make a um, well, let's say small bone-like structure. So, like so, and then you can extrude, you can do it uh, rotating or linear, well, first we do rotate, and voila, we've got a very nice disc, um, and then the linear extrude, uh, this is the uh, size you can uh, use, uh, I will make it 20, and save. Well, now I, I did extrude uh, this uh, small part. Uh, well, that was it. I will put it up on Thingiverse. Uh, maybe you folks uh, can comment on it. Um, and see if you like it. If you think it's strange. Uh, it's a bit weird. Usage of uh, OpenSCAD. Uh, but, uh, this can be handy, I think. Well, goodbye. Hope you enjoyed it.